Hey, it's Dorlene. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm working on or with a YouTube hop with the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group. And the stash that we're rediscovering this month is specialty paper. So like vellum paper, um, I'm, well, I'm using vellum paper, embossed vellum paper. I'm also using some glitter cardstock and I figured that's about as specialty as it gets. So um, what I've decided to do is do a picture of our Christmas. I'm still working on my 2021 album. So um, I'm using this pack from, oh goodness, who is it from? My Mind's Eye, and it's called All is Bright. It's probably from... Wow, 2012. That's an old <laughs> that's an old set. But anyhow, um I've had it for years obviously, um and I finally decided to use them and I'm not sure why I waited because the colors are gorgeous and the papers are gorgeous. I'm doing a two-page spread. And basically what I did is I took that one piece of pattern paper and I cut it in half by 6 inches. And you can see there that I'm going to have both sides going across both pages. And then what I did is I took some of that. This is the embossed vellum. Now we don't get snow where I am, but snow, Christmas, it all kind of goes, whether you get snow or not. So I just cut two one inch strips and I also cut a three quarters of an inch strip of the gold glitter. Now originally I had these going the 12 inches and then I decided I wanted it to the cardstock to more look like a mat so I did cut off an inch off of all of the different cuts. I don't think I showed it all but you'll see it when I put it all together. So I'm just kind of just figuring out what I'm trying to do. A lot of times I work with sketches. I didn't do it this time. Um, so I start off with one side and then I'm going to go ahead and work on the other side. But I have, let's see, three, six, nine photos on this two pages that I'm trying to work in. I like to scrapbook that way. I like to scrapbook multiple pictures um, because that's always kind of my focus. Um, I rarely do one photo pages. I do do them once in a while, but rarely. So I really like try to get as many photos as possible, but also as many photos without just really kind of overwhelming the page. Because I do like all the pretties, you know, all the embellishments, all the papers, especially the papers on this um, layout since I'm doing the specialty papers. Um, so I have, like I mentioned, nine four by six photos but I do trim them down a lot so they'll fix and you'll see me fiddling around because I'm just like I said not really sure what I'm doing so originally when I was putting the photos down unfortunately it was covering up most of these specialty papers and I thought well then why bother right and that's when I decided I was going to cut these photos down because again I wanted to put as many photos as possible so this Facebook group um, monthly they'll um, it's by Sarah Scraps and she will like I said promote a certain type of product. Oh, I almost forgot that I had it on this gray, which I'm not really sure why it really kind of dulled it. And then I switched it over to this pearlized paper. So I'm thinking that pearlized paper also is considered specialty paper because it's pearlized. And look at how perfect it looks with that. Um, I don't even know, aqua teal. I'm always so confused on what you're supposed to call these colors, but it just coordinated so perfectly with this paper. Um, sorry, I'll get back to um, <laughs> what I was talking about. So the Facebook group, like I said, she'll um, mention a product to use um, because the idea is, is, you know, well, in this case, rediscover your stash. And um, there's so many items that we have that, you know, we had to have, so we had to buy them and they sit there because we either forget about them or we bought too many in the first place because that's usually the case. But I will tell you the vellum paper, I was gifted a ton of vellum paper from a really good friend of mine and um, I do a lot of cards and stuff. So I really thought I would make them using the cards and I do try to use them a lot. But it was nice to have a variety because I probably would have never bought the snowflake, especially the embossed one. So pretty. Um, and I didn't end up using the just the plain vellum with the snowflakes, um, which is fine. Uh, so like I said, I trimmed a lot of photos because I really wanted them to fit. If you notice the picture that's in the middle, not the one that I'm putting adhesive on, but the one that's in the middle, our coffee table is the lower uh, left hand corner of that. And so that's why I decided to trim the other photo of my granddaughter and just really kind of cover that table because it I didn't need it. And I like to do that a lot with photos because 
there is a lot of stuff in there that is really kind of like a blank space. So without really cutting that, because I didn't want to cut off feet and legs if you don't have to, but um, having that table, um, like I said, blank space in that bottom corner of that photo really did help. So it helped me with that placement of that smaller photo. And then I'm just really kind of using the stickers, embellishments that are with the pack. And um, it's so unique like this vintage look and I don't normally do vintage paper or pages so um, that's probably why this pack stayed in my stash for so long but again it's so gorgeous I just like kick myself every time I play with it because again it's just so gorgeous the nice thing about doing a voiceover you know once I do the actual project is I can do all these portions here like where I'm trimming or I'm putting adhesive on the back things like that I could either cut them out <laughs> or put them on super speed so you can see what I'm doing I'm just really like I said trimming it down a lot so the ones up on the top are all cut down to three by four and I can't remember the size of the bottom photos but I think it's like three and a half by like four four and a half something like that um, but I try to keep them consistent because uh, I don't know I just felt like uh, visually that it would have been better than if I just had them all kinds of wild sizes. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm putting these um, photos and I do figure it out obviously <laughs> before I finish the page. I did decide to mat in white the photos that are three by four and I'm just using some paper that I have. Um, so you know how sometimes when you buy a scrapbooking album, not all of them and I don't know if it's a certain brand, but they'll put for some reason a white piece of paper and it's really thin. It's almost like a copier paper but it's in the page protectors. So I save those for this kind of thing because I don't need a thick cardstock for these mats, but I do want them to be white. So something like that is, is perfect. And then here's another piece of vellum that I use. It's that red vellum with the uh, gold stars. You can hardly see the stars because I really trimmed the mat of those photos really down but the red again it coordinates so pretty with this paper and I was so happy that I had pulled that originally and um it just looks so pretty and I will put a little bit of um you see all those scraps cutting scraps up there on that right hand corner I do use some of those on the it would be the right page because um, this is the left page of the two page spread. So I wanted to make sure that because I had some on the left hand side, I wanted to make sure I had some on on the right hand side. And again, I'm just using stickers for the embellishments. Um, and then I do some journaling, of course, and um, a little bit of splatter, but you'll see that towards the end. And there's really not much else than that, except for, like I said, the, the photo. So it is very photo heavy but I hope you agree and I, I believe that they are placed in a way that it looks um, visually appealing so um, again you know just going through the uh, trying to figure out where I'm putting these pictures I wanted a little gap there in the middle because I decided to put a long white strip there and I'm going to do that to put my journaling because it's very basic. I mean, sometimes unless you can really think of something big that happened, you know, it's Christmas Eve. We're opening presents. I mean, it's pretty obvious in the photos. So I have a hard time with journaling stuff like that because I um, I don't know, maybe I need to take like a journaling class or, or practice more on really putting some information that it's not the photos aren't obvious. You know, I, I have a hard time with that. Um, so if you have any hints about that or any tips, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you wanted to leave a comment and say, well, this is what I do. Um, because I just feel like sometimes you just write, oh, it's Christmas Eve and we open presents and we had fun. You know, something like that just doesn't just doesn't work. Um, but anyhow, uh, so I just cut a actually I cut a half inch strip and then I also cut a three quarters inch because I wasn't sure the thickness of that that little area. I really wanted the three quarters. So I thought I'd be able to do two lines, but it was too thick and that's fine. I just worked it with the one line across and I just kept that at 12 inches and had it go all the way across. I thought that was um, a little bit different and also another little like embellishment, I guess, because it's different than, you know, the rest of the papers. So I thought that really stood out. And then I'm just kind of, like I said, going through, picking out st st stuff from the sticker sheet and here's where I play with some of those scraps. 
and uh, place them right underneath that sticker, but you'll see that. But I hope you like this video, and if you do, get, give me a thumbs up, hit the like button. Um, I do post two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking, the other is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center, which is the name of my blog and also my craft room. And my craft room, the command center, we're going through a big redo, updo. I, I use the word renovation, but that almost sounds like there's building involved. Although we did put together some shelves, <laughs> we didn't really do any other kind of renov renovation. But I'm really excited about the reveal of that. We're pretty much done. It's just I'm waiting for a couple of things um, because I had to order more um, storage bins and also a TV stand because our TV in here used to be on the wall and I want it to be on a stand <laughs> that swivels. Uh, I figured if I'm going to make some changes, I may as well make changes that I want. But um, again, I hope you're enjoying this video. Make sure you look down in the information box. You'll see a link to my blog which will have more information on what I did, also more close-up pictures. Also, we'll have a link to all the other hoppers for this hop. Again, it's with the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group, um, which you can probably look up too if that's something you're interested in. But I'm always interested in rediscovering my stash because I have a lot of it. And although I say, you know, don't buy any more unless you use yours. You know, that's almost comical because <laughs> I know you're all in the same boat as I am. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> we just buy. If we like it, we buy. But I feel like there are some times where I'm, I'm good about it. But anyhow, I'm going to stop talking because I'm rambling at this point. But um, I'll put some music on and I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much. Please make sure uh, you like this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And um, like I said, make sure you follow some of those other hoppers and leave some comments over on, on their YouTube channels because, you know, we're all working hard trying to inspire people and, um, and use our stash. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye. I mentioned before just a little bit of splatter this is actually a clear it's called sparkle but you can you can really see it and that, it, this makes a huge difference it doesn't look like much but it really does add some sparkle and this is Christmas so why not add some sparkle but again um, just finishing up just kind of final touches I do write the word Christmas Eve above joy because I think it's Christmas Eve joy and then um, I don't you, you don't see me doing the journaling there, but I'm going to start writing just some basic journaling in here about our tradition of just getting together every Christmas Eve, just us. But thank you again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Bye.